In this topic, I will explain to you what a programming language is. We will also look at some examples of a few different programming languages. Many people think that computers and computer programs are very smart. The truth is, a computer is just a box that contains many electronic parts and cables that cannot really think. Programs are then loaded on these dumb computer boxes to make them act in clever ways. The programs that we load are also not really smart. They just follow a set of instructions given by a programmer. A program will therefore never allow a computer to do something without an explicit instruction given by a programmer. So, if programs do smart things, it is because the programmers that created them are smart. Instructions are typed into a programming environment by a programmer using a specific programming language. This language is then interpreted and compiled by a compiler. You can think of a compiler as a translator that reads and translates the instructions into a format that makes it understandable or compatible to your computer. Just like the many spoken languages such as English, French, Afrikaans and so on, there are also many programming languages. And just like spoken languages have grammar rules, programming languages have syntax rules. If a programmer uses the wrong syntax, the compiler will not be able to translate the instructions and the program will return errors. The instructions that a programmer types is called code. Although the word code may give the impression that programming is very cryptic and daunting, there is really nothing scary about it. Most modern programming languages are actually very easy to understand if you get the hang of it. Delphi, for example, uses plain simple English words and that is why it is one of the most popular programming languages to learn programming. Delphi is a programming language that derives from another programming language called Pascal. In the Getting Started video, I also mentioned that you can use a free programming environment called Lazarus to learn the same syntax that programmers use in Delphi. The reason for that is because Lazarus also uses the Pascal compiler or translator to interpret the instructions or code. Here you can see a code snippet written in Delphi. For now, you don't need to understand everything that you see. We will learn all about that in future lessons. What I want you to notice is the English words that are used like the words procedure, begin and end. The code that you see tells the compiler to display a message in a message box that reads It is fun to program with Delphi. When the compiler translates this code, it produces the following output. As I mentioned before, Lazarus also uses the Pascal compiler. The code in Lazarus will therefore be the same as the Delphi code that you've seen. Here you can see another code snippet, but this time I did the coding in Lazarus. Again, notice the English words like procedure, begin and end. Also notice that the code is similar to the Delphi code. This code tells the compiler to display a message in a message box that reads, It is fun to program with Lazarus. When the compiler translates this code, it produces the following output. As I mentioned before, there are many different programming languages. Visual Basic, for example, is also a very popular programming language. It is, however, not my intention to teach you how to program in Visual Basic, but I think you will find it very interesting to see that although it differs slightly from Delphi, it has more or less the same logic and it can produce more or less the same result as the Delphi code. This Visual Basic code tells the Visual Basic compiler to display a message in a message box that reads, it is fun to program in Visual Basic. When the compiler translates this code, it produces the following output. C Sharp is currently one of the most popular programming languages used by businesses or organizations. It looks somewhat different than Delphi. Notice that it uses curly braces instead of the begin and the end statements that we saw in the Delphi code. The c -sharp code tells the c -sharp compiler to display a message in a message box that reads It is fun to program with c -sharp. When the compiler translates this code, it produces the following output. So, now that you've seen a few examples of programming languages, you probably wonder why you should learn Delphi and not one of the other languages. Well, as you've seen, all these languages can achieve more or less the same thing. It just makes more sense to start off with a programming language that is easy to learn and easy to understand. Delphi is a very friendly language and because it uses English words, it's an excellent language to learn programming. 
Please, don't misunderstand. I'm not saying that Delphi is inferior to other programming languages just because it's easier to learn. In fact, I know of a few businesses that use Delphi specifically for its power and flexibility. If, however, you are interested to learn other programming languages, I suggest that you first get the logic and fundamentals of Delphi programming under your belt. You will then find it easier to learn other languages because, most of the time, the logic and structures of different programming languages are the same. It is also not uncommon for a good programmer to learn more than one language. It makes you more marketable and you will be able to find work easier. Now that you have learned what a programming language is, we can move on. In the next topic I will explain rapid application development. This is a very powerful feature used in many modern programming languages like Delphi.